What's up YouTube, Connor with Guns and Stuff. And I have a Type 99 Arasaka here and a Type 38 Arasaka here. What I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly disassemble and assemble the bolts on these rifles. They, they're almost exactly the same. So I'll just show you real quick and it's pretty easy to do. So let's get right into it. All right, so we've got the Type 38 here, Type 99 here. This is very easy to do. Obviously the bolts are back on these rifles, but we're gonna make sure there's nothing in that chamber. Just gonna put my finger in there, there's nothing in there. Just feel it's empty, likewise with the Type 38. Nothing in there, so these are both safe. Okay, so make got our unloaded rifle, you got a little tab here. Pull the lever out and pull the bolt back. Then you got the rifle there, and then you got the bolt here. So what we're gonna do now is this, this is this, I wanna call it a safety knob, and I don't know exactly what the technical name for these parts are, so bear with me here. So, got this uh, safety knob. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push in. See how it moves? You're gonna push in, and you're gonna go clockwise. So in, clockwise, and you're gonna have to kind of fiddle with it. Yep, it'll pop right out right there. So that's your safety knob right here. I'm gonna set this over here. Then you got your firing pin is right here. Pull it right on out. Then you have the actual bolt, firing pin, and the spring. So I'm going to set those down. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take the extractor off. And what we're going to do is you can see there's the two uh, locking lugs there. There's one, there's two. There's a little groove the extractor sits in. You can see it right there. So see how that part of the extractor slides in there. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of force it in between those two lugs like that. There's no groove there for the extractor so what you're going to do is kind of just force it over and then see how it's out of the groove there see what i mean so it's out of the groove then all you're going to do is just push up and the extractor comes right off so you got your bolt extractor and all the other parts here so now what we're going to do is put it back together so there's that little right there that groove goes in that little lug see it right there that lug so what you're going to do is line it back up between those two lugs and this is on the downside of the bolt so there's the uh, the handle so you want it all to be on this bottom side so it's turned over so what we're going to do is put that extractor put it back in you're going to kind of have to force it but be careful you're going to have to kind of pull the extractor back like so maybe if i could do it pull it back and then see how it, it went down then you got to make sure it gets in that groove Yep, see how it went back in the groove? So that's good to go. So now what we're gonna do, take your firing pin and notice this little hook here, that's important. See it right there? I'm gonna drop this uh, the spring back in this side of the firing pin. And then what we're gonna do is you'll see there's an upper groove here and then a lower groove there. You need to put this hook in this upper groove. So just drop it right in, just like that. Not like that. Just like that. Now this, see, you'll see this lug here. I'll get pictures. There's a lug, and it has to go. I'll get pictures of this. It's kind of misshapen in here, right there. This lug has to go in there, just like that, and you got to rotate the bolt. So what I'll do, put that spring back in, and what you're going to have to do, put a lot of force into it. This part's kind of a pain in the butt. You're going to need to push all the way down and then when it stops moving, rotate it counterclockwise. So we're gonna push in. So in. So it just stopped, so counterclockwise. And now it's back together. So we got the bolt all back together on the Type 99 and what you need to do, make sure that extractor is on the right side if the handle is up, so extractor's on right side. Put it back in the rifle, pop that open, slide the bolt on in, lower that tray. Okay, so we're gonna do a function test, make sure it's clear again, there's nothing in that chamber. So we're gonna pull the trigger, okay, that's good. Cycle it, make sure the safety works, so push in and then rotate. It's gonna lock the bolt up, safety works, so that one's good to go. So now we're gonna do the Type 38 real quick. Everything's almost exactly the same. Got your tab here. 
tab out. Okay, so we got our, our bolt. What we're gonna do is push this safety in and then rotate it. So safety, firing pin, spring. Extractor comes off the same. You can see that there's, again, there's that groove. There's where it ends on that right side between those lugs. So push it to the right. See it's out of that groove and just push it forward. Boom, so now we're gonna go in reverse order. Put that uh, extractor back on. And there's that's where the extractor goes in and you can see how that meets up like that. So put it there, here we go. You gotta move that extractor out of the way so you don't break it, so kind of force it out of the way. Push it down, line it up with that groove. Clicks right in, boom, we're good to go. So just like with the Type 99, you got your upper notch and your lower notch. Firing pin drops right in, make sure it's on that upper notch. Spring, bam, drops right in. And there's that lug again right there on that on that safety. See how it, yep, you can see it better on this one. See how there's a notch right there? That's where that lug has to go in. So what we're gonna do is just push, rotate, bam. That's it. Ready to rock and roll. We're gonna put it back in the rifle. Make sure, remember, make sure that extractor is on that right side if you're looking up at the top. So tab out, tray down. Make sure, one more time, it looks like it's empty. Bolt in, pull the trigger. That's good, we're gonna cycle it. Make sure that safety works. So in and rotate, yep, there it is. So safety, bolts locked up, good to go. So there you have it, thanks for watching the video. If it helps, please leave a thumbs up, comment, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and as always, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.